Tonight, investigators say they have removed lots of items from Joseph D'Angelo's home that could serve as evidence in the prosecution against him. These are live pictures from Citrus Heights, where authorities spent much of today searching. CBS 13 Steve Large continues our team coverage from the newsroom with some of the specific items, Steve, inside the home they're looking for. And I had the opportunity to talk to one of the lead investigators in this case. He tells me inside that home, it's fairly unremarkable. There are family photos hanging on the walls, but investigators are looking for items that only the East Area Rapist would have. For Sacramento County Sheriff Lieutenant Paul Belli, crossing into this crime scene and searching through the home of the suspected East Area Rapist is a crowning moment of his career. Obviously, I'm happy uh, that, that we were able to uh, close this case. Belli has spent a decade on this case. Now he's inside the alleged killer's house, inside Joe D'Angelo's rooms seeking those items Belli spent years only seeing in criminal case archives. We're going through uh, each of the rooms uh, very painstakingly slow, looking at absolutely every item. From class rings to fine china, these are some of the items reportedly stolen from victims during the violent attacks by the East Area Rapist. We also knew, obviously, he, wear, he wore a ski mask on many occasions. Uh, so those types of items would be of interest to us. Investigators are also digging up D'Angelo's backyard and placing evidence markers in spots of interest. We go through and we, we probe the backyards. Um, you don't know if somebody maybe buried something or, um, you know, there might be something back there. Investigators are also searching the front of D'Angelo's home. His boat sits in the driveway and has a name that now appears all too fitting for its owner. The accused East Area Rapist called his boat scary.